I'm Suzette Kroll, Registered Dietitian. I'm your personal nutrition guide. We're going to work together, slowly but surely, to change your eating habits one at a time. That's because small, gradual changes are easier to make and likely longer lasting than extreme ones. So every session, I'm going to assign you one to two nutrition goals. Your role between sessions is to focus just on those one to two goals. Each subsequent session, you'll get one or two new goals and those will build upon the old goals. And before you know it, you'll have established an entire new set of healthy eating habits. I strongly believe it's easier to improve diet by addition than subtraction. So I'm going to be talking about what to eat, not what not to eat. So your very first nutrition goal is start eating as many vegetables as you can. Fresh, frozen, and even low sodium canned vegetables are going to count. And I'm gonna take it even one step further and ask that you aim to eat one pound of vegetables every day. Yes, you did hear me right. I said one pound of vegetables every single day. Now, at first, this probably seems crazy, over the top, totally not attainable, but I promise you it's not as hard as it sounds and I'm gonna help you every step of the way. If you've ever tried to lose weight in the past, it's probably been recommended to you to eat more vegetables. So this is not rocket science and probably not the first time you've ever heard this. But I think it's really important to understand why eating more vegetables is an, an important part of weight loss and weight loss maintenance and not just for health. So you're looking at a picture of three stomachs filled up with three different kinds of food, but at the same calorie level. So it's really easy to see how filling vegetables are. The middle picture represents protein rich foods and you can see it would take more of them to fill up the space in your stomach. And the stomach on the left represents fats and oils, and it could even represent processed packaged foods. So it's showing you that those kind of foods are really dense and they don't take up much space in your stomach. So in order to feel full, you need to eat more of them. And the more of them you eat, the more calories that you're eating. So in order to feel full on less calories, it's important to include a larger percentage of vegetables in your diet. Now there's certainly, certainly a place for protein in your diet. It's an important nutrient and there's a place for fat in your diet. So I'm not talking about eating only vegetables all day long, but learning to eat a larger percentage of vegetables with each meal and maybe throughout the day is a really important part you can see of weight loss and weight loss maintenance. It's really quite simple and it starts with identifying the vegetables that you like or are willing to eat. Even the most self-proclaimed vegetable haters can usually find something that they like to eat here. So go through a list of vegetables, highlight anything that you like to eat, that's the starting point. If you need help with this step, I'd be happy to help you. Here's a quick tip, eating vegetables as part of the meal versus serving them as a small little measly side dish, kind of like an afterthought, is a great way to eat more vegetables. There's oodles and oodles of recipes online. One of my favorite resources is Pinterest. Please feel free to use my account, Suzette Kroll. And if you feel like you need help learning how to cook vegetables, if that's the barrier, uh, not knowing recipes or how to prepare them, then certainly use YouTube as a resource for more and more uh, recipes. In the next video, I'm gonna share lots of tips and strategies how to help you eat those pound of vegetables every day in more detail. So I'll see you next time. I'm Suzette Kroll, Registered Dietitian. I'm your personal nutrition guide.